Legend has it that Ettore Bugatti once called the Bentley 4.5 liter the world's fastest truck. We're guessing that he didn't know he was merely being prophetic. Because now Bentley builds an SUV, and guess what? It's 187, mph top speed is the highest on record for a vehicle of that type. Why an SUV? Simple, people who drive Bentleys tend to have other vehicles, a lot of them, and the vehicle they drive in the winter or when it's raining, or foggy, or below 75 degrees tends to be an SUV. Now that Bentley makes an SUV, a lot of those buyers will make that SUV a Bentley, as well. For the last three years, Bentley has sold more than 10,000 vehicles annually, a major milestone for the company. The Bentega is going to help obliterate that record, the company plans to build 5,500 Bentegas in 2016. That estimate already has been revised upward once, and company executives tell us that, as interest builds, that figure may enjoy yet another upward correction. And while the Bentega might be tall for a Bentley at 68.6 .6 inches, it's not otherwise particularly large for one. At 202.4 inches long and 78.7 .7 inches wide, it's about 17 inches shorter than a Mulsanne and 3 inches wider. At nearly 5,400 pounds, it's about 550 pounds lighter than the Mulsanne and just shy of a flying spur W, 12. The floor pan is steel, but most of the rest of the sheet metal is aluminum, including all exterior panels. Bentley says that the body side is the auto industry's largest single aluminum stamping. With its, relatively, low mass for a Bentley, the Bentega is kind of spectacular to drive. The damping of the multi-link front and rear suspensions is exemplary. Even over the extreme speed bumps peppered throughout the hamlets of southern Spain, the most massive of wheel displacements are forgotten in a single, gentle compression and rebound of the suspension. The electric power steering is weighty and direct, although it doesn't enjoy a ton of feel. But by SUV standards, it's excellent. As are the brakes. The pedal is firm and progressive, and even barreling down the twisting switchbacks of the Sierra Blanca mountains, there was never a hint of fade. 